Hi, welcome back. It's been a really long time. I think it's over six months since I bought, made a video. Today I just want to go over the DJI Mini 3. So if you've been with my channel for a long time, you'll know that it was all drone related at the beginning. It's all I ever did. And I did a lot of videos on a lot of different drones on a lot of different DJI drones. And then it's two, or two and a half, maybe three years since I last had a video on a drone because I gave up flying, to be honest. Um, I just had enough, too many drones, got bored and decided to move in a different direction. Recently, I've just found myself getting a little, not bored, but wanting to have a drone again. And I didn't want something complicated. I just wanted something dead simple, to, a point and shoot drone that I could just take up in the air and fly, no hassle, no bulky bags, just something small. So I'd obviously been kept abreast of what was going on in the drone world. So I decided to buy this. This is a DJI Mini 3. This is not the pro version. This is the standard version, if you like. It just comes with one battery and the remote. Now, the biggest thing for me made me go for this drone was the remote. Uh, when it first came out, it didn't have that remote. I wasn't that interested. But when the remote came with the screen, then obviously I became very interested. So... This is a bit like the DJI Smart Controller. It's not got as many functions, and it's probably, I don't think it's as got, the screen isn't as bright, doesn't have as many nits, but it's a fantastic thing. You can see this in strong sunlight outside. I uh, don't have any problem with connection. Really is a nice thing, and the, the beauty for me is, of course, I can just switch it on. It's effortless. Just turn this on, turn the drone on, wait for you to get GPS signal, and off you go. No messing around, putting a phone on and all the rest of it. It's really nice quality. Obviously, it does the same thing that all the other DJI drones do. Um, it doesn't have follow me mode, the three. It just has, because there's no sensors, although it looks like sensors, they've just kept the same shell. You can see they're blocked off there where sensors would be. Um, they just use the same shell. It is a 4K camera. It's 4K 30 frames per second, although the video you're about to watch, I'm going to do a short video of it flight. I'll show you some flight footage. Is going to be recorded in 2.760 because I believe that's its best resolution. I think at 4K 30 you can see too many artifacts for me in the picture. However, I'm not. That's not a criticism of the drone. That's just what you get for your money, to be fair. And I wasn't even bothered about being able to get 4K. Uh, it was more important to me to get 2.7K 60, which is what this gives me. And the picture on my large TV. If I watch it on a 65 inch TV and I've recorded in 2.7, looks phenomenal. Um, whereas on 4K 30, you can tell the artifacts and you can see some pixelation. It's not as good. It's not bad, but it's not as good. So the drone comes, as I said, with one battery. Um, goes in the bottom. You get around 30 to 35 minute flight time, which is plenty enough for me. That's why I only bought the one battery version. I charge it up with my phone charger, so it just plugs in the back there. And there's little or no hassle. And to me, that's the only main reason for buying this drone. I wanted something cheap, easy to use, and I could just throw in my glove box. I think these, I think I paid 520 for this, or, five, or just 519 something like that. Anyway, it wasn't a lot um, for what you get. And I, I'm really happy with it. I, I've flown on it quite a few times now. It's never let me down. I have no range issues. I don't have the same problem that I was getting with the last... DJI Mini 2, which was a lose range quite easily. Uh, I'm going to take it up and fly it in a minute, and I'm going to take it up out of my back garden, because it is only 249 grams after all. Fly it around, and like I said, this will be in 2.7K, um, not 4K, because I think you get the image resolution. This isn't a review of the product, it's just to let you know that the main video was just to tell you that I'm back. I've been away for six months. My account got hacked. Uh, look, no one did anything to it, but I couldn't get into it. It's only just been unlocked, which is why I haven't made a video for a while. Um, and to be fair, I wasn't really over concerned about it. But it's up and running again, so I sort of do this video just to tell you where I've been, and also just to tell you how much I like this. To be fair, and I don't know, people are probably going to disagree with this, but if you're buying, a, there's no point buying anything but DJI. They, they really have got that market sewn up now in all the different things. But to me. This is probably the perfect thing. You can't get anything more beginner friendly than this. So, less of the talking, I'll get it up. I'll show you a quick few minutes video so you can make your own mind up. The weather's a little bit overcast today. The sun will probably break through. It's 25 degrees, but the sun keeps going in and out. So, 
you can make your own mind up about the video quality. See you soon.